Taking inspiration from similar schemes abroad, Manchester has this month begun charging a tourism tax for anyone staying overnight in the city. I was in the small village of Twyford and chatted with Julia about how she felt about this approach. Um, I think, um, who does it go to would be the question, the tax, does it go to the hotels or does it go to the local environment or? It's sort of local councils I think um, yeah. and they've said they're going to reinvest that into um, sort of running events in the city and running um, yeah. and sort of cleaning up the city and yeah. and things yeah. of that nature. I think so. So when you go to a hotel, would you pay it then? You mean yes. like sort yes. of that kind of thing? And how, do you know what sort of level? I mean, if it was lots of money, then no. But if that's what they do in Spain and places, isn't it? Already? Yes, they, so, they, it is known yeah. to be to happen throughout Europe and in yeah. the US as well. I think yeah. it's meant to be one pound in Manchester per night oh, per absolutely. person. Absolutely, yeah, hundred um, percent. Be so happy to do that. You'd be you'd, yeah. you'd be supportive. Yeah. Of that. Yeah. Um, so, although it is only one pound, um, there is a feeling that, especially in somewhere like Manchester, a lot of the people who go to Manchester are probably more direct domestic um, travellers and maybe business travellers yeah. who are already sort of facing quite a high tax burden in I the UK. Um, yeah. Do you think it's not sort of adding a bit of insult to injury to ask? people like that to uh... well I think if they can afford to stay in the hotels or if you're visiting and maybe there's a way of it being if you can afford it maybe it needs to be sort of like yeah if obviously if you can't afford it then it then it would be a really bad thing but if you're staying in a hotel and you're traveling there and you're using it as a place then I think if it's that amount then I think that would be a fair enough thing but maybe there's an opportunity for people to just say no they don't want to pay it I don't know I think I would so thinking of tourism on the whole then is yeah. that something you'd like to see encouraged or discouraged in this country do you think we should be trying to attract more tourists into the country or well it's difficult isn't it because everywhere gets so crowded and um, I mean I when I travel in the UK I really love the quietness and the views and all of those things but I think everybody probably feels like that and it's not much fun like during the pandemic when everybody was going to these places it's just too many people and for people if you live somewhere like Cornwall I know that's a great popular desk but actually I won't go now during the summer because you know how crowded it's going to be so that doesn't appeal so um, yeah I can't remember what I was waffling on about <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> thank you so much for your time I really appreciate it